Discussing Indian Outbound Travel Patterns, DDP Publications presented an insightful knowledge session on the ATM Global Stage 2022. Before the pandemic hit, a total of 4,700 international flight departures were being operated every week from Indian airports. That is what India is and has been. Where to from now? With China and Russia markets on the close, if I may say that, India is ready to take on the mantle of being the biggest source market for the world. If today Indians are paying such high pricing for airlines, and I'm told some of the hotels also, they, they're charging uh, over $1,000, $1,500 a night, and Indians are paying for it. So what is this? What is this new mantra? What is happening? How are you looking at that? As destination opens up, I think there is a huge demand waiting for Indians to travel overseas. Uh, with restrictions going away by countries, the searches on various platforms, uh, the interest shown, and Indians actually have, have moved on to search differently, look at differently. The patterns have changed, but eventually it's going to be a market which is going to be center of the largest tourist market among uh, the world in next at least three years. We monitor number almost on a daily basis. Uh, April, if you look into uh, from an April perspective, at an international side, we are almost 52% of pre-pandemic level. And the current booking trends, what we are seeing, is more toward the Middle East and Southeast Asia. That's the main destination. When we're standing outside, you did mention to you, they are looking at new avenues for travel agents to make money. You mentioned MacArthur, Glenn and all that in the beginning. What is it, what you're looking for? Because one is, they make money out of the airlines and, and hotels and all that. Is that the only way? Or, or can the travel agent look at new businesses to look into? So the starve and a hunger phase which travel agent had and seeing two years go really bad, uh, they started selling everything as I said. And I think that's the way you, people spend time, you know, getting themselves more literated, adding technology, increasing their reach via technology. And, and these are the avenues where travel agents have to be smart. So you, you up your segments, sell more things, which is classical upsell, uh, try and look at things which you can sell, which you are not selling. As a tourist board, when you're working with the Indian market, you're really looking to try and source the right kind of data to inform decisions from the Indian market. Um, what would you say, and I could address that to any of you actually, what would you say is the best source of data we could be using as tourist boards, not just Visit Britain, um, to inform us on the potential and the trends, etc., from India? GDS data is one of the data we can capture only air side or GDS participant. But don't forget India, especially somewhere around 50 to 60 percent or outbound is also LCC kind of data but so for, for to be honest the real data sits with the DGCA that is a controlling authority where the airport data are flying over there so that's in a nutshell is the real number but don't forget there are a lot of surveys being done over there so the surveys are the most relevant information around it plus some of the information you can also get from a trade bodies also yeah. where they get, do capture these informations.